Hello everyone, my name is Angel and today I'm going to be talking about how to transfer uh, <coughs> how to transfer different subtools from uh, from ZBrush to, to Lightweight. So, it may seem easy, but it's not really that easy. It's a little different than, than 3ds Max and Maya. So, I got this model that I did and the one thing you want to do is just hit go Z and you respect all the or your sub tools to just appear in lightweight. Well, lightweight works in a layer base uh, deal, and 3ds Max doesn't. So, right now my ZBrush is linked to 3ds Max. So, I'm gonna show you real quick because I already did it. It took a little bit of time. So, I hit Go Z and I put all, and this is what you're gonna get in 3ds Max. Everything's gonna transfer fine. And there is no problem. All the textures are there, and it works fine. But if I link this to lightweight to modeler, it's gonna be a slight difference, and you'll see why. Let me hit go Z, and it's gonna transfer that one sub tool that has been highlighted, and it's opening lightweight right now. Just give it a minute. For some reason, sometimes the link works perfectly, other times you have to do it yourself. Somebody mentioned about going to IO, go Z, and you update. Well, sometimes it doesn't really work, sometimes you just go Z, export it out. I did try and I, it did update my mesh, but um, I just go right here to go Z update and it will just update it as well. So <coughs> that's no problem. So I just transfer one sub tool, so there is that. And if I go back and I want to transfer all the sub tools, it's only going to transfer the sub tool that is being highlighted. Like I said, ZBrush works in, I'm sorry, Lightweight works with layers. 3ds Max has that option, but it's not really using it. You transfer everything to Max and everything is right there, compiled, so you can actually move it around and stuff. Um, you cannot do the same thing in Lightweight. And you notice that I hit Go Z Old and you only transfer that one sub tool. And this is a demo that I did before. So right now, this is all we got from exporting everything. So you ask yourself, how do we transfer everything? So we're going to have to transfer each. We're gonna have to uh, hit go see for each individual sub tool. I know it's a pain, but we had to do it. So right now, I just transferred my main uh, sub tool, which is the base, and I'm gonna transfer another additional piece from the from the canoe. And I'm gonna have to hit go see again. In this case, each sub tool will open a different uh, lightweight document. So it won't really update my other mesh at all. So right now, if I go back to Lightweight, oops, let, me let it load real quick. If I go back to Lightweight, it's gonna open this sub tool in a different document. So let's see real quick. It's not updating. So it's asking me, okay, I say yes. So notice that we have the the old the other one, the other sub tool that I transfer, and then we have the new one that I just transfer right now, which is that one, which is called part one, the Vinci one. It's gonna name the name convention is gonna base on the naming convention you have on each individual sub tool. So the logic tend to do right now is highlight this, select everything, and cut it and paste it on the do on the main document. Uh, I'm going to paste it on, the, on a uh, <coughs> new layer. But notice the, the maps, notice the texture maps. As soon as I did that, my, 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 you know, my other sub tool is using the same texture maps as this right here. So we're gonna have to fix that. 
so if I go to my second layer we want to be able to use the, the right texture map so I'm gonna create a new surface and I'm gonna call it the same name that I had before so we don't get confused which is part one the Vinci one uh, so let's name it part one one so it's easier to to find this surface and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into surface editor and right now I'm working on this document the default one is the first uh, my first layer and then part one you know underscore one is my new one that I just transferred that that had the messed up textures so what we're gonna have to do is reapply those textures so you go into color uh, texture editor and then we're gonna choose UV ZBrush UVs because I created these UVs in ZBrush and then we're gonna look for the texture map which is part one the Vinci one so as soon as you do that it's going to uh, apply the right textures so we're gonna have to do that for every for every sub tool uh, fortunately there's not a, a more straightforward connection and we're gonna have to do this for uh, for every layer for every sub tool I'm sorry uh, I know it's a little bit pain in the ass but uh, we're gonna have to do it for now I don't know any other way of doing it so I'm just letting you guys know the, the way that I know and I'll be trying to uh, you know apply different settings different ways but nothing else seems to work directly so this is the more straightforward way that I know and that I can recommend for you guys so it's asking me again you want to load it uh, yes so right now it did transfer without any texture which is weird so right now we do have textures so let's see go Z again that was weird huh notice this well we can always do this grab this guy again cut it go to main layer paste it give it in this surface and uh, we got the right surface so right now we got three parts from our boat <coughs> and we're gonna have to apply this process throughout the entire thing so I got a lot of different parts so speed is gonna take a long time but I think that's good enough for you guys to to transfer different stuff like I say it's unfortunately that we cannot just hit one button and everything is gonna be there for us but that's just the way it is and you may wonder where some of your texture maps are and you can actually uh, go to image editor and I think I'm gonna hit replace and there's a go Z uh, folder so you see right here under users public pixel logic go Z project defaults that's where all our maps are gonna be stored uh, as you can see maps from previous uh, projects are stored here all our maps for our boats are here so you just gonna have to look for them right here some of the maps that I haven't even applied are here so everything seems to be safe here so yeah so just apply this process throughout the entire thing and you'll be good to go um, thanks for watching and have a good one